everybody. So this little 10, 15 minute workout will focus on your lower body, so your abs and your hips, and with minimal equipment. So for those of you that really don't have much, um, we'll try to make this work for you. We are going to start by just stretching it out. So let's start on our hands and knees, finger spread, cat cock blow up, then down. And just right from the base of your skull down to the tip of your tailbone, trying to work your spine free. Excellent. Let's do two more. Breathe in and breathe out. Great. One more time. Inhale. Excellent. And exhale. Now, if you have one, grab a little weight and place it behind your knee and your back leg. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You're going to be just fine. We're going to begin here by lifting up to 60 degrees or so, and we're simply going to drop a little and lift a little. So working on hip abduction and rotation. Nice job. Now, your goal here is to stay stable. Through the core, you want stability without rigidity. So you can test it out and challenge your balance by placing your opposite hand on your lower back. And it's feeling for that nice little stationary stability in your back. Shouldn't be rotating or moving. And up. Excellent. Try closing your eyes to challenge yourself just a little bit more. And up. Take it down. And up. Hip goes down. And up. Hip goes down. And up. Let's do four more. Three more. Two more. Open your eyes. Drop down to your elbows and just kick that leg straight back. The beauty of hugging the weight, or say hugging a chi ball, that would also work, is it keeps your hamstring busy holding on to the weight and it lets your glute max be the true star of the exercise. So it just makes it a little bit better. Four more. And three more. And two more. We're going to pulse a few. Ready? Pump one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang in there. Eight more to go. Give me eight, and seven, and six, and a five, and a four, and a three, and a two. Super good. Release the weight. Beautiful. Now, whatever side that you were just working, your hands go to the opposite side. You're going to stretch back and just open up that side of your body and your hip. Super. We're going to swing around to the front, that leg that you just worked. We're going to go from the back of it to the front of it. So sit tall. We're going to lift from the hip flexor. This one again gets so much harder than it looks. Your goal here is to stay nice and stable through the trunk. Let your quadricep and your hip flexor be the star. Excellent. This one, sometimes when you're not great at it at first, you will get better quickly. Up and up and up and up. Eight more. Give me eight and seven and six and five and four and three. Whew. Super good. All right, we're going to switch sides. So just turn to the other side. Just for the show, instead of the weight, I'm going to put the chi ball behind that thigh just to give you an idea. We're going to lift up and down. Lift up and down again. I'm nice and stable. First challenge is to take that opposite arm and place it on your back. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. The breath is gentle. Lift up and down. And up, and down, and up. Close your eyes, challenge your balance just that little bit more. Excellent. Squeeze up, and down, and up, and down for eight, seven, six. You can do this, you can do this, come on. Four more, three more, two more. Very nice, drop down to your elbows, lift. And lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, and pump it. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Come on, come on. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Finish. Eight more right here. Eight, seven, six, and a five, and a four, and a three, and a two. Switching from back to front. Quickly pop over. And lift, squeeze, so. Good, again, 
about finding that stability, right away you'll find your quadricep. Oh my goodness, it comes to life in a hurry. Come on, lift and lift and lift and lift and up and down, up and down. Finish strong. Last set, eight and seven. There's so many ways to count to eight, right? For those of you who've been in class, you know that by now. Last four and three and two and one. Excellent. Okay, from our butt to our gut. Flip back over onto your back. We're going to place a cheek ball mid thigh. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. It's just adding that little something. Hands start behind your head, they're nice and wide. The tongue is on the roof of your mouth to stabilize the mat. We're just going to do a classic crunch. Up and down. Breathe out as you lift and breathe in as you lower. Breathe up, breathe in, breathe up, breathe in. Very nice. It can help to purse your lips a little bit, like you're blowing out your birthday candles. Kind of gets the breath of your diaphragm a little bit of resistance against. Excellent. Eight more right here. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe up, breathe in, breathe up. Breathe in, right there, good. Give me four more. Last four, and three, and two. Legs come up, hands on top of crunching. One, and down, and two, very nice. And three, and four. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Hello, abs, let's go. Excellent, four to go, three to go. Two to go, and one. Now legs come up, we're gonna cross your right or left ankle over the right, hands behind the head, and we're gonna squeeze the ball for starters in that inner thigh. So squeeze. Good, so we're activating the short adductors. We've got the diaphragm pushing down, so as we exhale, there we've got the ceiling, and the house that we're building of strength. Let's have a little lift. Squeeze up, and down, come on, go. And down, squeezing up, and down. Don't have to look too high. See if you can incorporate the quadriceps in. So as you're lifting and squeezing, tighten your thighs. Lift up, and down, and up, and down. Very nice. Squeeze, hold oh, out. You can do this. Last four more. And three more. And two more. How about we do some quick ones? One, and two, and three and four, and five, and six. Eight more should do it for now. Eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, now three, now two, knee break. Ah. Excellent. We're gonna put your left leg down and put the chi ball or a weight or a towel, just anything you can hug underneath that opposite leg. Lift your hips up, then remove your arms. We're gonna pump. Whenever you do bridges on one leg at a time versus both, you do a much better job of isolating the true glute maximus muscle. It's really hard to cheat when you're on one leg. Lift up and up and up. Very nice. Squeeze up and down and up and down. How about closing your eyes for eight, seven, six, five. Doing great. Four and three and two. Perfect. Stretch that leg up. Put your head up. Support it. This leg's going down for two and three. Now as it comes up, the other leg moves down. Got it? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's nice. Come on. Stable through the core. Legs are moving. Core is stabilizing. Three, four. And down. Really nice. And three. Awesome. Two to go. You can do it. Come on, hang in there. Woo! And one more time. Excellent. You know what's going to happen. We're going to change legs. So switch the ball. Come on up. Remove your hands. And down and up. Pumping. Down, up, up, up. So really feeling that squeeze in your glute. Right there, that gluteal crease. Lower the leg down for four and three. 
three and two and switch through five and six and seven and eight and switch slow. We're gonna to work to the break here. Come on, we're not quite done. Got another four minutes. You can hang in there today. Go down for two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Come on, reach out with those legs. Reach out, maybe the left the shoulder blades a little higher. Five. Good. Two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Awesome job. Bring those knees in. Give them a little bit of a hug. Woo. And work your side up legs. So the ball goes back between the knees or not. If you don't have a ball, don't worry about it. But stacking the legs on top of the other. Your bottom arm is going to wrap around. Your top arm is going to support the weight of your head. And you're going to roll back so that you're facing the ceiling. Working as a place, ready? Crunch up and down. So crunch and down and crunch and down. So nice. What's kind of cool is this hand. It can feel what's working for you. It feels abdominals contracting, crunching, getting stronger. Excellent. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Good. Challenge yourself by taking your hand away. Pick a spot on the ceiling and do your best to touch it. Come on, lift up, and down, lift up, and down, and up, and up, and down. Real nice, up, and down. Awesome. Quick little plank before we change sides. Pop over. Drop down your elbows, walk up a little bit. Pop up, hold yourself down. Excellent. Gonna adjust your arms maybe a little bit, I need to. Close your eyes. And just be aware of how many muscles you can engage if you want to in your planking. So hold it. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Knees come down. I'm going to flip over, or you can turn whatever works best for you. Bottom arm wraps. Go back to the ceiling. Support the weight of your head, and let's get busy. Lift and lower. Breathe in. Breathe in. Squeeze and down and squeeze and down and up and down. Go away right there, right on those front abs. Go and down and up and down. Breathe up, breathe in, breathe up. Excellent. Come on and down and up and down and up and down. Pick that spot on the ceiling and let's touch it. Lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower. Here back at our beautiful facility.